Oh my god. First it was a Jeffree Star powder. Now it's a cleanser. Hey guys, it's Avida. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a full face with Clarence makeup. Now, if you haven't seen my previous video, I'll leave it a link down below so you can go ahead and check it out. But in my previous video, I took you guys with me to discounted stores and I spilled all the tea on their Clarence makeup. And today, I'm basically just going to put all these products to the test, review them, give you guys my final thoughts. Was it worth it or not worth it? But before we get started, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. It helps you grow out a lot. So without any further ado, Let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, so I have my little hair clips on just so I can get my hair out of the way. So guys, all of this makeup that I'm about to show you guys and put to the test and review, I got it on Marshalls and TJ Maxx. I was on a mission to find every single product I needed for a full face. But girl, I kid you not, it was so, so hard. You guys will see in that video, I legit went to three stores and these are all the products I found. You guys have to keep in mind, I was also trying to find products that were in good conditions, not like pretty beat up because I was like, I'm not trying to get like an eye infection or something. So these are the products that I could find for a full face that were in great conditions at a great price. For the rest of the products that I couldn't find, like a concealer, a powder, a setting spray, my eyelashes, my bronzer, all that kind of stuff, I'm going to be using it from my own makeup. But of course, I'll tell you guys what products I'm using. So enough rambling. Let's get started with the brows. So for the brows, I did find this Paris Hilton All About the Brows Brow Kit. Now this one original price was $5.99, so $6, and I got it for $4.50, so $4.50, which is not bad. I don't know if it's the right color, but we're going to test it out. So let me go ahead and open it. So it comes with the brow pencil, and it also comes with the dual brow and highlighter pencil. It comes with the gel and it also comes with the powder. So for $4.50 for four products, it's pretty good. Now we have to put it to the test and see if it's worth it or not. So this comes with a spoolie as well. So I'm just going to comb out my brows. Okay, it's one of those chunky tips. To me personally, I don't really go towards these because I just feel like it doesn't give me like that natural look. I go more towards like the thin brow pencil, but for the sake of this video, we'll test it out. Now, the color, I really didn't have control over that. It does feel very buttery. We're gonna continue to apply it. A little bit does go a long way, just because it like glides very easily and it's very creamy. Can we talk about like the color that's on the cap and the color that's on the swatch? Like that is completely off, like way off. Now, what is this, the duo brow and highlight? I really wanna like test this out. I actually want to use this to highlight the brows underneath to kind of just like clean them up. I usually always use concealer, but we're going to try something different today. I'm just going to use this to clean it up. It's not as buttery and it doesn't glide as easy as the brow pencil. Like you can probably see that I'm like struggling with it a little bit. But we're gonna see how this blends out because I've actually never used one of these to clean my brows. I always stick to the concealer. There we go. I'm really excited to see how this works out because I always see like on Stasi Beverly Hills, they use this instead of concealer to clean the brows. It blended very easily. That's actually surprising because it didn't glide on the skin like as easy as it blended. That doesn't look that bad. My brows definitely look a little bit more on the natural side versus if I would have done them with like a regular concealer and just cleaned it up. So what I think about these brow products, now for me, it's not like my favorite brow pencil. Like I'm telling you guys, it has more of like that chunky tip, but it's very creamy, very buttery, and you don't need a lot of product because a little bit goes a long way. Now with this, which is the highlight, lighter one I'm very impressed because I feel like my brows look a little bit more on the natural side so if I ever want to create like a glowy dewy natural look I already know where to go this is gonna be like my to go because it blended really nice and it makes my brows look very natural so we are going to move to the next product which is going to be eyeshadow so I was a little bit excited when it came to the eyeshadow I didn't realize I got two eyeshadow palettes I got one by absolute New York this packaging though reminds me a lot of the naked palettes 
or am I the only one? I feel like it gives me like the naked palette vibes. Now this one was $6.99, so $7, and it was on clearance for $5.50. For a whole palette, I don't think it was bad. And then I also got this one by Revolution Makeup London. This is a collection with Soph's Party. And this one was actually original price $8, and I got it on clearance for $6. Now this one, it looks like this. We're gonna start working with this. I'm going to apply my concealer as a base for my eyeshadow. I'm going to be using the Tarte um, Shape Tape Concealer in Medium Honey. Eyes are set with the concealer. Now, we're going to move in with the Absolute New York palette. I believe this is in Wildfire. It is in Wildfire, guys. So we're going to move on with this palette. I'm actually, I really want to use this brush that it comes with just because I'm curious. So we're gonna use this brush. We're gonna first start off with the first shade, which is Kindle. So I'm going to press it into the crease. I'm not a big fan usually of like the brushes that the companies provide for the palettes. I usually like never reach towards them and it's like so dense. So I'm gonna use one of my own. Oh, this is a really pretty shade. Whoa, that's pigmented, look at that. Okay, these shadows are really pigmented for $5.50. I'm shook. I'm going to take some of Adobe and I'm going to set it right underneath Kindle. I wanna keep using this palette, but I wanna use the Soaps Party palette and I'm kind of like indecisive whether I should use one more color or go on to the Soaps Party palette. We're gonna use one more color. I'm going to take it a little bit of Scorched and put it in there right on the outer corner of the eye. Oh, yes. Now we're gonna move on to Soph's Party. So for this palette, I really wanted to use this palette for one of these shimmery shades. So we're going to go ahead and cut the crease with my Tarte Concealer. All right, so we cut the crease, and now I'm going to move on with this pink color right here from Soph's Party Collection. Oh my god, yes. This is so nice. Why did they put this palette on Clarence? That's that's my question. It's actually pretty bomb. So let me go ahead and finish off this eye. Once I'm done with this eye, I'm going to apply my lashes. Let me tell you guys, for my lash glue, I will be using the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive in Clear. And for my lashes, I'm going to be using these that I just found in my drawer back here. Not quite sure what style these are, but I'm going to finish off this eye, apply my lashes, and then I'll see you guys so we can move on to the foundation and the rest of the products. Okay, so we have the eyelashes on and this is what the eye looks like. Okay, now we're gonna move on to foundation. I was very, very surprised that I found a foundation, let me tell you, because that is by far one of the most difficult things to find at Marshalls and TJ Maxx just in general, or to find a foundation that is your shade. Now this is by Laura Geller. This is the Filter First Luminous Foundation. This one is $6 on clearance, original price $7.99. Now this one is is in golden medium I'm thinking I'm praying I'm crossing my fingers this is my shade it looks pretty nice I love the packaging for six dollars I don't think it's bad it hasn't been pumped which I'm not even sure why it was on clearance maybe they're just trying to clear it up to put new inventory in now for a beauty blender I found this infused blender original price of $3.99 and it was on clearance for three dollars so I'm going to take this out of the packaging Totally kidding. Now, I'm not quite sure if this is going to be soft or very stiff because we all know those blenders that are stiff as heck and we're like, mm. You literally feel like you're beating the crap out of your face. Whoa, that expanded in size. And it's so soft. Okay, Marshall and GJ Maxx. Y'all are really impressing me tonight. Let me pump some of this out. 
that's watery. Okay, I'm gonna put some in my tray. This is watery. Look at that, oops. And now, oh, oh, just kidding. Okay, so I'm going to take the infused blender. <sighs> I'm going to dab it on the skin. Oh my God, I should have tanned tonight. I should have tanned tonight. It would have been like the perfect opportunity to tan. Oh my God. This does not match me. I'm so sorry, guys. Do not get mad at me. Do not kill me in the comment section. This is, this definitely does not match me. Oh my God. It is so watery. This is not full coverage. I can tell you that off the bat. It is not full coverage. Oh my God. Why did I wear this? Why did I wear this dress? I should have worn like a turtleneck. Um, I'm thinking this is kind of like a BB cream or a CC cream coverage. Not too much like a full coverage foundation. Whoa. I got a tan real quick. Don't even like pay attention to the fact that it is not my shade. It's very luminous, very lightweight on the skin. This is definitely a foundation that you would lean towards like during the summertime because you don't feel like you have anything in your face and it's very dewy. And when I tan, it's totally going to match me. It might not match me right now and I definitely look like an Oompa Loompa probably, but I like it, it's very dewy, very luminous, not too full coverage, again, more if you want like that natural look. So for $6 that I paid, I'm not mad at it. I'm definitely going to be using it again just because it really does give you like that dewy effect. Okay, we're gonna move on to the concealer. Hopefully with the concealer, we can save this a little bit. I'm going to be using, again, my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Now, the blender blends very nice. I like it. Um, I'm not quite sure if it soaked up a lot of the product or if it is because the foundation is not to full coverage, but I will tell you for sure. I'll tell you if it does soak up the product or not right now that I blend out the concealer because I already know my concealer, how full coverage it is. So I'll tell you in a bit. Okay. Yeah, this definitely soaks up the product a lot. Like my concealer is super full coverage and now I can see through my freckles even more. What is one thing that you used to do as a beginner in makeup that now you look back and you're like, oh my God, why did I do that? Let me know in the comments down below. For me, it's like the whole triangle, the concealer triangle situation. I look back at my pictures and I'm like, why, Peta? Why would you do that? Like, why would anyone let you do that to yourself? Why didn't no one stop me? So I think this is as best as it's going to get. I'm going to take my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm going to set this in place with, again, the sponge. Now again, guys, the sponge, I do not recommend it. It literally soaks up all your product. So for blush, I didn't find anything for my blush. So what I'm thinking of doing is taking a little bit of this one which is magma so taking a little bit of magma and applying that as my blush okay so we have a little bit of that blush going on from the absolute new york palette which i don't think it doesn't look that bad okay this is the part that i'm most excited for this is the laura geller glow for it baked gelato spro illuminator trio Oh my God, this looks so pretty. This one was original price, $7.89, so $8, and I got it for $6. So for my brow bone, I think I'm going to be using French Fizz. I wanna see what French Fizz looks like. Oh my God. That is so nice. Wow, I think I just discovered my favorite highlight. Now let's use the SOF one, this one, the Sophie collection. Let's use this one for the inner corner. And let's use this shade. Oh, that's pigmented, I like it. We're going to set the brows, now that we're done with all the powders, I'm going to set the brows with the gel, the brow gel that came in the Paris Houghton brow kit. Okay, for a brow gel, I don't think it's bad. Let me go ahead and outline my lips with my CoverGirl 205. Lips are outlined, and now for my lips, I picked this one up. Original price is $4.99, and I picked it up for $4. This is Burr Minerals Gen Nude. This is a lip lacquer in Bay. I think lip lacquer should be like a lip gloss, right? If I'm not mistaken. This is what the color looks like. 
Oh, it's a gloss. Wow, this might be the perfect nude gloss. I think I might have just found a lot of hidden gems at the clearance section. We have to set the face, let's set the face. While I let my face just kind of like air dry by itself, I want to put this to the test. I picked this up. This is the Revlon Brush and Sponge Daily Cleanser. This one was $3.99. This one was not on clearance, but I want to put it to the test because I use Cinema Secrets and using Cinema Secrets can get pretty expensive, guys. So I found this for $4 and I was like, I definitely want to test it out. So you just wet the brush, then apply cleanser and work cleanser with finger or cleansing pad and just rinse well with water and gently squeeze and that's about it so you just get it wet a little bit spray it and then you kind of just clean it on a <coughs> oh my god first it was a Jeffrey Star powder now it's a cleanser it doesn't clean them like my Cinema Secrets, but it does get the job done. I'll probably use this one as a backup, like whenever I'm out of my Cinema Secrets that I really need to wash my brushes, I'll definitely use this one. But it's not as good as the Cinema Secrets, because the Cinema Secrets, you literally dip it, swirl it, and like within two seconds, your brushes are clean. But will I buy it again? Probably not. So if you see this on Marshalls or TJ Maxx, don't pick it up. I personally think it's not worth it. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm very curious to see what you guys think. I definitely feel like I found so many hidden gems in the clearance section and I'm so, so happy for that. First of all, this Burn Minerals Nude Gloss. I'm obsessed with it. I feel like it's the perfect nude. The fact that it was only four bucks and it was literally brand new. I'm so, so happy. So happy I found this one. Obsessing over the Laura Geller Gelato Illuminator Trio love this love it so much really obsessed over the absolute new york wildfire wildfire is that what it's called yeah wildfire <laughs> palette really love this palette i already told you guys what i love about it simply the best really liked the foundation i just need to work on it i just need to get my tan on and i'm definitely going to be using this one for the summer just because it's very lightweight and very luminous and dewy what else i love the soap palette I love how my eyes look, like very natural, but at the same time, you can definitely see that I'm wearing some eyeshadow on my eyes. And I love like the pop of like the highlight in the inner corner. And I really like that it has highlight for your eyeshadow and your brows. So I definitely do like this one so much and I thought it was definitely worth it. Um, the brow products, I'm not mad at it. I'm actually really happy that I discovered that brow highlight pencil because it just made my brows look so pretty and very natural. I actually think that I loved everything that I got except this one, like the Revlon and the Infuse Blender. These were like big no-nos for me. But other than that, I feel like I found some hidden gems in the clearance section and I feel pretty proud. I feel like I did pretty good. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Super excited to read you guys' comments to see what you guys think about this. By the way, you guys are gonna ask me about my dress. I got it from Laura's Boutique and I do have a coupon code for you guys. It is Make by Pita. If you guys want to get a discount, I'll leave the link to this dress and I'll also leave my coupon code right next to it. I have to announce the winner for the Fiesta palette. So congratulations to you. Just go ahead and contact me so I can go ahead and ship out your palette to you. And if you did not win this giveaway, please do not be discouraged. You guys know that I do a lot of giveaways. So other than that guys, that completes today's video. Really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Also don't forget to subscribe so you can be part of the Pidacha family. And don't forget to turn on your post notifications. Hit the little bell so I can notify you the next time I upload a new video. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.